More so than any other open world game, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild offers supreme depth in traversal, exploration, customization, and combat. It's a triumph in game design, rightly heralded for raising the bar for open world games. Most players will be aware of the mechanics in this rundown, and of the 15 featured here, there are literally dozens more little tips and tricks to maximize the immersive experience of traversing through Hyrule as Link in this Nintendo Switch classic. Tame Any Horse Breath of the Wild marks a departure from previous Zelda titles. In games of old, Link would gallop through the entirety bonded to the same steed, whereas Breath of the Wild features a plethora of wild horses ready to be tamed and brought back to the stables. It pays to look after a collection of horses too as each exhibits unique traits and abilities. Horses have unique abilities. So those unique traits that horses possess are fourfold. Strength, speed, stamina, and temperament. Each of these are pretty self-explanatory, aside from maybe temperament which gives an indication of the horse's docileness. Arguably, with the most common mode of traversal throughout Hyrule being horseback, Link needs to acquire horses with the most stamina. Of course, the wild steeds throughout Hyrule all have individual styles. Picking the one that visually appeals is equally valid as a stat-focused approach. Bond with Dogs Hyrule's township and villages are frequently patrolled by the loveliest dogs. These dogs are just crying out for friendship, but they're not just after treats and fuss. It actually benefits Link to spoil the pups too. Feed them at least three pieces of meat or fruit, and the good boy or girl will lead Link to bury treasure dotted somewhere in the area surrounding the town. Manipulate Environment for Traversal Traversal is a supremely important mechanic for open world games. Various modes of transport are a necessity. But also, when hoofing it on foot, the player needs to scale obstacles as unimpeded as possible. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild features a neat little mechanic if Link encounters a seemingly impassable chasm. Should Link be face to face with a sheer drop, there will likely be trees growing along that valley edge. Link can whip out an axe, chop the tree down, and with it construct a makeshift bridge to safely traverse the Chasm Gorge. 900 Hidden Korok Seeds Now, at first thought, collecting the scale of Korok Seeds hidden throughout Hyrule seems unachievable. However, think of it this way. The sheer amount of Korok Seeds means it's extremely unlikely that Breath of the Wild players will ever run out of things to do. There's always going to be a reward for exploring every time a player dives in. Also, Korok Seeds aren't merely collectibles hidden in grass or behind a tree. No, they're found by performing specific actions in certain locations, with their values ensuring they can be traded for a host of useful stuff, from increased inventory space to weapons and shields. Raise or Lower Temperatures One of the most immersive qualities of Breath of the Wild is Hyrule's dynamic, changeable weather patterns. There are chilly, icy locales and scorching desert areas, but at any moment Link can be caught in inclement or hostile weather. To combat this, players can equip special elemental weaponry to raise or lower Link's body temperatures accordingly. Elemental Arrows Cook or Chill Meat Another means of managing Link's body temperature during extreme weather is to feed him hot or cold foods. The best way to do this is with elemental arrows. Simply plonk a slab of raw meat on the ground before shooting it with fire or ice arrows to cook or chill accordingly. It's another vital technique to learn as keeping Link's body temperature in check means that he can keep wearing his strongest armor. Cook Food During a Blood Moon Occasionally, the nighttime moon looming over Hyrule turns a chilling blood red. Things get spooky during the blood moon, with dead enemies reanimating zombie style, potentially causing extra resource draining encounters for Link. As an antidote to this, or perhaps as preparation, Link can cook under the blood red moon, with recipes concocted during this time offering increased stat boosts as opposed to when cooking in normal daylight. Start Fire, Launch Paraglider Once again, traversal is an integral aspect to successful open-world experiences, and Breath of the Wild features a super cool paraglider allowing Link the opportunity to leap off high peaks to glide to otherwise unreachable or hard-to-traverse places. But even if Link can't climb to higher ground, the paraglider can still be launched via the updraft of a fire. And it's a self-started fire at that via shooting fire arrows into the ground. Shield Surfing 
More fun traversal mechanics that aren't exactly hidden, but have potential to be underutilized. Should Link find himself in Rain Shower, then the ground underfoot will be slick. And what cool feature reveals itself here? Well, stick his shield underfoot and Link will slip, slide, and surf over glistening wet surfaces. It's super fun, and it also works on ice or frozen landscapes. Buy from merchants during rain. Hyrule is littered with wandering merchants who will sell location-specific goods and wares to Link. It's always worth paying every merchant encounter a visit. However, this is doubly so during rain showers. Perhaps there aren't as many customers as usual during a storm, but for whatever reason, merchants wandering through the rain showers sell upgraded and rarer items. Improve Rusty Weapons Downgraded versions of Breath of the Wild's weaponry will be frequently encountered by the player. Despite exhibiting decent stats, they'll likely break after a few attacks due to their rusted nature. However, it's worth keeping hold of them as later Link will encounter Rock Octorox on Death Mountain. They can be tricked into swallowing a rusty weapon, sucking it up and spitting it out all shiny and aglow. Three of the flimsiness rusty weapons exhibit. Block arrows with shield, then keep them. Another neat feature that'll serve as a vital time saver is Link's ability to stock up on arrows. Should he encounter enemies that fire arrows as their primary weapon, all Link needs to do is hold up his shield to block. The arrows, of course, will get stuck in the shield's face. Said arrows can then be added to the inventory, come the end of the encounter. With arrows, one of the most important commodities throughout Hyrule, Farming them in this way takes a lot of legwork out of harvesting resources and crafting. Lose clothes to swim faster. Pretty self-explanatory this one, although once again there seems a significant number of Breath of the Wild players who somehow weren't aware of this mechanic. Should Link be mostly clothesless, he'll be able to glide through the water faster whilst using less stamina to boot. Fight enemies with cuckoos. Delightfully lovable, yet extremely temperamental, Cuckoos are Zelda's legendary chicken-like wild animals. Ordinarily, these birds are not to be trifled with, but not so in Breath of the Wild. No, Link can capture a Cuckoo to take it into battle. When unleashed, that lone Cuckoo will seemingly summon a swarm that'll hilariously peck your opponents to death. Did you know that we at Gaming Bolt upload new videos every day? Stick around, drop a like, subscribe! and let us know what kind of content you'd like to see in the future with a comment below.